Welcome to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is actually just a quick tutorial introducing Filter Forge. Now this is Filter Forge. Um, this is what you would see if you had already had some filters loaded. When you first uh, open Filter Forge, you're not actually going to have very many filters up here. I'll show you how to do all of that. But uh, Filter Forge is an extremely powerful rendering software similar to Blender. However, this is made specifically for creating textures. Now, it's actually a Photoshop plugin. However, it also works as a standalone program. Um, if you do not have Photoshop, you can still download it and get it. If you'd like a quick link to their downloads page, all you have to do is come to our website at vrealitygames.com. Click here on our VR Game Dev Ed page and come down to the image Filter Forge. Click on that image and it will bring you right to the Filter Forge downloads page. Now uh, one thing I have to mention about Filter Forge and I apologize to all of the learning game developers that are trying to build a video game completely free. Filter Forge is not actually free. However, you do get 30 days of it for free so you can still download it just make good use of that 30 days if you don't want to pay for it however it's not all that expensive um, the professional edition is a bit expensive um, full price is almost four hundred dollars however this uh, the professional and standard editions allow you to create your own filters if you just want to make the textures really quick, full price for the basic edition is $150, $149 exactly. Um, and that's not all that bad for what it can do. It can literally make an unlimited amount of textures, anything you could possibly want. So this is how it works. Okay, this is a filter right here. Okay, I have a filter for my brick. It'll bring up a couple preset options. I can double click on any of those presets and uh, bring that image up. <coughs> and what it is doing here is it is literally rendering this image. Now I get to actually show you a nice good example of what rendering actually means. Technically this image doesn't actually exist anywhere it's just literally rendering it if I wanted to make it real I could save the image as and then that would make that image an actual image on my computer somewhere now uh, the thing about filter forge and what a filter is specifically is this side under settings this is what defines a filter. We have all kinds of different options as to what we want, how we want our image to look, our texture. We can change the amount of bricks in it. This is just an image of bricks so that's what I'm using right now. We can change it to seamless tiling and make it so we can uh, see how that works. It'll line right up next to each other and make a nice seamless texture. You can increase randomization colors. You can literally generate an endless number of textures from a single filter. Now when you first download Filter Forge, you're not going to actually see all of these filters that I have up here. I have quite a few different filters already downloaded into Filter Forge. So let me show you how to do that. If you're using the uh, free trial or the basic version, you have access to 8,733 filters on their website. So this is how we get a new filter into Filter Forge. Just go to their website, come under their filters tab. <coughs> and we see all kinds of different images. Let's uh, go ahead and click now there's literally 8,733 filters here. 
It's incredible. I'm going to go ahead and click on the featured filters. Come under all feature filters right here and just uh, pick a nice one. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and pick wood. Nice simple one. Okay, it shows you the preset options that it already has in it, but uh, when your main one is selected, you see this option to open in F Filter Forge. Just go ahead and click that. Make sure it's activated on your browser, and then go ahead and click it, and it will immediately download it, that filter for you, right into Filter Forge. How nice is that? All those preset options that we saw were there. I can click on any one of these, double click to select it, and it will show me that image. Or I can change, this will, you know, adjust the ring size. I can change the contrast of colors. There is literally, click this option to change it to seamless tiling, and it renders a new image for me giving me seamless tiling gives me an endless number of pictures that I can actually save then to my computer it's really really nice I can make uh, anything that I want out of this now I've got a bunch of different filters already uh, downloaded so let me go ahead and uh, pick one, any one, doesn't really matter, and show you a little bit about how to use this. First of all, you want to pick a nice preset function. I, I like this uh, picture right here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that the default. You can change the colors of everything. So you don't really want moss to show up. You know, you can... Uh, change it to uh, pretty much match the original the original image mm, I want that a little bit darker a little bit of contrast a little bit of detail there right change the color change the number of waves in it change the actual size of the image how many pixels are in it. Me personally I like to leave the highest quality image possible. And then this is really nice. This will actually give you a bunch of preset variations in it. You can click right to the next variation and it will jump to a random variation for you. Then of course like I showed you earlier you can click seamless tiling and it will generate a new picture with a seamless texture now that is very very nice to work with it also organizes everything that you have these are some of the preset functions these are some organic filters that I have already downloaded stones and then you can actually even upload your own photos into Filter Forge and do all kinds of neat stuff also you can even search or whatever you want. If you uh, had one that you lost, you know. I'm going to go ahead and stick under buildings because that's what I have most of our textures under. Let's make some decorative tiles now. Okay, on our presets again, maybe you don't like that. You can uh, click on whichever kind of tile you want on the presets, and you can save that 
<coughs> or you can change it again just like I did with the others you can click next variation and jump to a bunch of different variations like I just showed you or what's really unique about this you can actually change the lighting and effects in there. I'm going to go ahead and make this seamless real quick for the example. This will liter literally let you change where the light is looking at that object. There's a couple different environment options down here. You can change it to night. You can put it on a bridge and then a lobby. You know, things like that. You can also come down here and directly affect the brightness and it will render a new image every time you do it. You can change the saturation and this is what is really cool. You can change surface height, make it more 3D. And really, that's about it. I mean, you can literally make any amount of textures with this. I could have saved every single variation out of this. I can make from one filter, you can literally make an endless amount of textures. And from their website, they have an endless amount of filters. Well, not endless. There's 8,733 filters. Show. Whatever you want. All kinds of different photos. This is a demo photo that Filter Forge has. You can uh, choose organic options, stone, techno techno, buildings, creative, really really unique stuff. This is a very 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 powerful program very unique allows you to make an endless number of textures so if you do not have Filter Forge and you are developing a video game I do absolutely suggest downloading it and if you would like to make a free video game my suggestion would just be to go ahead and download it and take very good advantage of those 30 days you have for free make as many textures as you possibly can in the 30 days and uh, for those of you who want to become professional designers especially and want unlimited capability with this buying at least the basic version at full the full price of it is $149 you might see it on sale depending on when you go online I absolutely recommend getting it because there is literally nothing in the world better for making textures than this program right here and that is the end of this short little quick tutorial that is our introduction to Filter Forge. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you all soon.